You know, Pantani folks are, 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 have had enough. One year ago, Jean-René Olivier Jr. was shot and killed by Repentigny police just northeast of Montreal, outside of his mother's home. On Monday evening, demonstrators came together in front of Repentigny City Hall for a sit-in, remembering what happened one year ago, wanting justice and change. The killing of uh, Junior Olivier was really a tip, not a tip of the iceberg, but the final straw that broke the Repentigny population's back, really, for... for uh, well over 10 years, there's been reports of racial profiling, uh, complaint about excessive police uh, use of force, uh, street checks, uh, police checks, uh, interceptions, uh, mostly targeting black residents of Repentigny. And uh, we've seen an escalation. We Marie Mireille Benz had called 911 as her 37 year old son was in a mental health crisis outside her home on August 1st, 2021. He seemed to be hallucinating and was holding a knife. She hoped to get him to a hospital, but instead he was shot three times in the stomach by officers. We're asking uh, for the, the government, the, the, the Quebec government, to step in. And if it means to fire the entire police service, let's. let's let it be so. Benz devastated to have lost her son and the black community in Repentigny infuriated. There's been numerous complaints, numerous meetings with the city officials, the police chief uh, and other links. And, uh, and, 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 and there hasn't been any changes. In fact, you know, if you, you know, if you look at what happened to Junior Olivier, then it's gotten worse. I understand they have a five year plan diversity and inclusion plan that they put in place. Well, this is not a diversity and inclusion issue. This is a human rights and a civil rights issue. In late May, the Bureau des Enquêtes Indépendantes announced that its investigation was completed. Now turn to the Crown Prosecutor's Office to decide if the officers who killed Olivier will have criminal charges against them. There's been enough talk, negotiation, discussions, report, surveys. Now it's time for action and concrete action, not five-year plan type of actions, concrete actions. Si aujourd'hui, je pleure encore la mort violente de mon fils et victime, c'est parce que je cherche et cherche encore dans ma tête une raison pouvoir expliquer ce qui était arrivé à mon fils. Benz continues to speak up, hoping no other parent has to go through the suffering she's experiencing. We're not talking about a criminal here, you know, a, a dangerous criminal. We're talking about someone going through a mental health episode that was not threatening the life of anyone. In Montreal, Pamela Pagano, City News.